So, when I said, beyond this world, death will not offer you wisdom when you meet her in person. Hell has no fury like a woman scorned. If you want to know about love, ask a woman. That's their job. So, when vengeance is no longer part of the equation. The sum of it all says, let go and be done. Because the story of Lazarus and the beggar is one of, I could not give you the virtues and the saintlyhood it requires when you are there after ignoring it for so long in this life. It's not to scare anyone, really. Because somehow this realm of entertainment becomes infotainment when we learn to observe. And it's purest nature, it's purest form. A good example would be a camera. A camera by itself does just that. Not moving, not doing anything. Just does its job. You could say that even when I pick up the camera, the camera is still fixed in its position. And <clears throat> somehow keeps its job free from the content that is involved with what it sees. Because the camera is not me. I am me. But I'm talking from the position of something inanimate, though it is inanimous. It's not animated like I am. I don't have a relationship with my camera like I would with the ones I'm calling the audience. Cue applause. Golf clubs, please go. So, what I mean is, it needs to be combed through with the idea. You can't be both. You are animated for a reason. The expression of you is beautiful. What I find interesting about psychology and being truly free is if you're truly free, you become a tad bit shameless. Not to say you don't still have virtue. You do. Maybe some of the highest virtue of all, if you did this the right way, which is what we're aiming for, to abstain from life to become life, but not like you thought. This is the wisdom, again, that cannot be bought when you pass, if you pass, before you get it. You have to get it now. Now. Now is all you got. To be shameless with your virtue means we're still giving effort into becoming something that is lawful. to remember why we value this. Somehow life has given space for the lawless and with grace. If the lawless become too much of a nuisance, then it's just like the shedding of old skin. It was part of the process, we remember it, but eventually it's gone with the wind. Just dust. Nothing is. That is what happens to lawlessness. Also, to have one with the other, it is you, by virtue, with experience, to choose. You had this, you had this, you understand this, you choose. You're capable. Doesn't mean you've done anything over here. Even if you've done none of it, you can observe and still 
reference the same spectrum of psychology, which is great. Because most of us, if not all of us, really haven't done very much. We know people that know people that know people. What does that mean for us experientially if the empirical part of it is in you waiting to understand what I'm saying now? Which is, to be shameless, it, it's outside of the box. It's outside of your comfort zone also. But you gotta wonder why you weren't comfortable with being shameless. If I was to get naked right now, my children were naked next to me. If my family, all of us, decided to get naked today because some force said we had to, and we do it right in front of each other, and we all live like that for as long as possible. Ringing a bell. There's something to it. It's not to say we don't appreciate our clothes being on. We do. But there's something else in there that doesn't care if you're naked. And that's something that we all seem to get lost with in this world. Like the sus on my Alfredo. That's a good meal. Did it help me get here? Yeah, that's how I feel. But that's not the results of something that is putting effort into virtue because of what we call the lawless. To be influenced by any particular part of this thing we call attraction. Not to say one was good or bad. We'll say there's good, there's good, and there's good. That's all you got. It's all good. And then if you put it all together, that's a triple good sandwich from the good burger sauce. Because that's information. Mm, I like Vsauce also. Like, um, you like learning. There's Skillshare, there's other things also that are very interesting. There's lots of um, young wizards in the world on YouTube. I like to watch quite a few of you. And something I don't often do is give credit where credit's due. It is because of us that I have a wonderful point of view. Thanks. Because that's the extra side of the outside of the box once we're done with the desire. It becomes more playful. Shameless meaning innocent. Meaning we're not thinking the way we used to. We're not thinking from the realm of fear. We're not thinking from the realm of pain. We're not thinking from the realm of any of that, which is why I mentioned the camera. So the camera doesn't feel anything that I'm giving you. However, it does register those feelings in a way that artificial intelligence does recognize. This has become a form of communication. You don't even have to understand this too much. To know that would be the deaf, dumb, blind version of the future. It would evolve eventually also in what you would call a sentient artificial intelligent being would be godlike. However, the evolution of something that is inanimate again is the question here. And it's not one that I'm going to answer. I will not. Never give you an answer to that because it's it's impossible to give it to you unanimously. I could say I like this idea, but then I could argue with that because that's just how my mind works. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe. but I do that on my own all the time. That's how this happens. <laughs> it's not a problem. You just gotta learn to be okay with being alone, and sometimes it's forced. So I've been humbled by that force. 
It's a beautiful force, one I do not wish to neglect. One I do not wish to envy, one I do not wish to loathe or even miss a construe in any way. I'm not adding to or taking away from, and that's why I put out my video earlier too. So like the observer, I want to be more like the lens of this game, not to be impersonal. It means I'm unattached to the emotions. And thinking like that moderates a mind. For me, it's like wordplay to create its own balance with my placebo in the head because my mind does a lot of things that most wouldn't realize that it does. I do work with the light. It is light. Entirely. I will never ever tell you a lie. And here's the thing. If you don't if you're not savvy with what I'm saying and you think you might not believe in it. Eleven eleven just hit my clock. I know you don't understand. You just have to trust me. I've been all through those characters of your entirety. And you are a simple grain of sand. That's light. To say be humble, it's just words. I didn't hurt you. But if it hurt you, then that is to honor the virtue that you lack. Just hear them laugh a little. It's true. That's how it works. It's like that comedy crew and it heals a broken heart. You want to heal hatred? Laugh a little. And teach you how to laugh too. Don't get even. That's why I said I won't do that with you. I won't because I know you are that light. We are that light. It is that light. And we all have it. To meet it at a cross, I have. It's where the river meets. It's where the wind blows too. All things, and yeah, so much more waiting for you. You just have to see through this part of it. It's like a test. Now remember your virtues and give it your best. Any effort at all is being recognized. Keep trying, don't give up. Stop giving in to each other because you think you're not gonna have friends at the end of the day. You will, but you gotta do this for yourself on your own, and it will take a while, it could take a decade. Maybe more. I'm working on my decade right now. So, this is me saying I love you all to the ones who gave it all. Thank you. We all give it all. At some point, let's give it our best now for them that gave it all so we can give some. And when we're done, we'll give it all too. We'll give it all up and go home. Well, God knew we didn't need this world the way it was. The way it is today is perverted, and it's lost, because we know why. We also understand why we need that light. So the light's on, till the light's off. I'm not concerned with what anyone else thought. I'm not the judge. Coincidentally, ironically, I know you are. This is for all of you, and my family especially. We've lost quite a few. They will be honored. We will be honored. It is honored. Pillar Peace, our Prince of Peace, and his mother, our true father, and our truest creator, the one who rules all, who has said nothing to this day, waiting for us to wake up and do nothing to. This is silent. That's where you'll find it with you. When you are silent, do not disturb the silent one. Once it is silent, if you question it too long, you'll only disturb yourself. Please let them be at peace. If they do not wish to talk, they don't have to. We know why they don't. There's nothing to question. Except the one with monkey mind for insurrection of a mind that's at peace. Why would you disturb that? The Prince of Peace gave that to them. We're not meant to destroy real. 
leave them be. Rest with ease. These were